I'm gonna show you how I came up with the spicy sweet potato burrito box that I made for Pollen and Grace. It hits all the principles of healthy eating, eating whole, eating colorful, largely plants, lots of fiber. This is not just about healthy eating, it's a campaign for NHS charities, for food insecurity initiatives, and to change the way we look at healthy eating. These boxes, both of them, including the uh, Paul Jack Fruit, each have at least three, if not four, of your five a day, which is completely unprecedented. No other box on the market has something quite to that level. So the whole process of creating this box was super exciting for me because I got to put into action all the principles that I've been chatting about for ages now. And I've been offered to do boxes and all this kind of stuff in the past and it's never worked out because they wouldn't comply essentially to my stringent demands about you know making sure that we had x number of this and this is a high quality and that's why pollen and grace were uh, a perfect choice so i'm building a fake box here this is just in a similar size tray uh, we've got beautiful sweet potato that was spiced with some smoked paprika some cumin seeds some fennel a bit of uh, garlic powder as well and then we add a neutral oil which is why we're using rapeseed salt and pepper now this goes into the oven for about 30 to 35 minutes. The other thing that we're using is brown rice. This has just been boiling in a bit of hot water for about 20 minutes or so. A little bit of seasoning, a little bit of uh, oil as well. Brown rice, fantastic ingredient, a lot more fiber than uh, regular white rice. But if you load up your box with just brown rice and a few sprinkled veggies on top, overall it's not a very well balanced meal and I think this box really does sum up exactly how I feel a healthy meal should look. It's eating whole, plenty of colors, quality fats, lots of fiber, and plant-focused. We're only gonna be using a good portion of round rice, around 50 grams or so per box. A lot of it is green. So I have put in uh, spinach and rocket, so you're getting a good mixture of those two different types of greens. Rocket is actually part of the brassica family, which is why it's so phytonutrient dense. And spinach is vitamin K, folate. Combining this with good quality fats like extra virgin olive oil is a great way of helping you absorb a lot of those micronutrients as well. Now, there's also uh, sweet corn. We made a little sweet corn salsa. Um, very simple, a little bit of apple cider vinegar for that tartness. We've got a little bit of salt and extra virgin olive oil. And then some nigella seeds as well. I love nigella seeds. It's got that almost tarragon-like taste. It's beautifully perfumed and it just welcomes the Cajun spices so nicely. Um, there's a few other ingredients like a spring onion, um, that I haven't put in here because um, uh, I didn't get any spring onion in my uh, veg box this week. So <laughs> beans are a wonderful addition to your diet. If there's one thing I wish people had more of in their diet, it's fiber. So we packed it with two different types of beans. We've got our black beans and we've got our pinto beans. Simply cooked in a little bit of veg stock. Put our beans in the corner. We're gonna put our sweet corn salsa on the side. Already looking colorful. One thing that I, I also wanted to include is a little bit of uh, tartness from some kraut. So this is just some white cabbage um, in a little bit of vinegar uh, and a, a little bit of added sugars as well, just to give a little bit of tartness. And so that goes on the top. Add a little bit of your rice. This is pretty much the box, identical to what you're gonna get. It's all handmade and it comes with this chipotle sauce, which is a blend of cashew nuts, um, some vinegar, a little bit of um, sweetener from maple syrup, um, some Himalayan pink salt. You order it on the website, they deliver it to you the next day or the day after that. It's super easy to get. They've got three days of shelf life, so you don't have to worry about it going off as soon as you get it. It is a convenience product, but it's one of the best ones that you can get out there, for sure. 100% of the proceeds are going to NHS charities and to initiatives that tackle food insecurity. And this is part of a much wider campaign about making healthy food accessible to as many people as possible, particularly key workers and frontline healthcare staff. As I know from first-hand experience, it is super hard to get good quality meals in hospital environments. And this is a baby step towards making that massive change for everyone. We're gonna try and extend the distribution outside London if possible, but that will only happen if you buy the box. So I really hope you enjoy it. If you make it yourself as well, you can do variations, please do, and um, spread the message. You can eat yourself healthy, you can tackle food insecurity, you can support the NHS with each delicious bite. I hope you stay safe and I will catch you in the kitchen soon.